first blemish is on the front of the boat. The last owner put a new roller on, but he put it too tight so it wouldn't roll. So whenever they uh, trailered the boat, it would rub off some uh, some fiberglass. So I went ahead and sealed that up with some resin, and, and I loosened this up, and I also put a new winch on. Also uh, put a new jack on last week. The uh, trailer's in uh, decent shape. The wheels are good. They'll get you where, they, where you need to go. The fenders, you know, they're a little wobbly. They make noise, but, you know, I secured them as best I could. Got the trim tabs back here. New transducer for the GPS and plotter. Plenty of tread left on the tires. You see a, a rickety little uh, job we had to do to help secure those fenders. Also, these are uh, put new lights on. My brother, electrician, so he did all the wiring. There's new guide posts on the trailer. Can't trailer the boat without those. Makes it pretty difficult. Um, there's the engine. It's in uh, excellent shape. Decals. You can replace those. You can get new decals on uh, on eBay. In the back of the boat, here's your uh, fresh water shower back here. All right, back of the boat, the seats, the cushions are in okay condition. You know, it's wear and tear for the year, you know, 14 years old. It's original cushions. These come in handy when you're fishing. Comes up right where your leg is. Comes up high enough. A compartment for both the batteries. Both the batteries are good to go. I, just, I had them pulled out a couple weeks ago and had them inspected and and uh, tested at the auto parts place, and they're both working just fine. There's the uh, battery on/offs and selector switch and fuses. Salt water uh, wash down. Pole holders. There's more pole holders up on the top, on the T-top. Um, this tray down here is actually for a uh, a cooler that was strapped on on there, and it'll actually uh, slide right out, so you can access whatever you want to put in that cooler. In here we have uh, the live well. You see it's just a huge live well. I don't know how many gallons exactly it is, but it's, it's deep. And it works just fine. In the back of the boat still, uh, on either side of the boat we have these fit long fish boxes. Or, uh, big giant compartments to store your catch. They fill up with water when you're not out and you can drain them. They have their own pumps. You have access to the bilge and everything and the gas tank all through these uh, doors here. They're all over the place and you have storage underneath the seat. That goes the entire length of the seat. All right, here's your cockpit. This is the brand new Infinity speakers we installed. Here's all your switches. When I got the boat, they're all not labeled, and so my brother and I we went through all the switches and we made sure they're all labeled. They actually went to something. 
Um, gauges. This is stereo. Hooks up to your iPod. Um, this Pandora. All that stuff. Or you can just plug in a USB and uh, charge your phone and iPod right there. And you can also there's another also another hookup. You can charge your phone and whatever else gadgets you got. There's the plotter, GPS, fish finder, and that cost me over $700 just a few months ago. And it's, uh, it's excellent and it has uh, all the maps for all the lakes, rivers, and uh, coastal uh, waters around the U.S. And that's the Navtronics. Um, there's your compass. There's your uh, trim tab controls. Uh, just some storage cup holders up front here you have you see you have plenty of room on either side of the cockpit to, uh, for walking around it's just tons of space and actually uh you see you're rated for 10 people at 1675 pounds which is just a lot here's the front of the boat you see uh, water settles up here when you know the boat's angled the wrong way but you have plenty of room up here. This is all uh, storage in here. It's all your extra anchor, and you have all your life vests, everything you need to take care of business with. There's also a cushion that goes on here. It's inside my garage because I don't use it. I've got a new anchor and chain. Here's a view from the front of the boat. Again, you have plenty of room. You also have the uh, little corners there. You can put another cooler there and uh, strap it down and have a cushion on it so it makes another seat. Then you have that cushion for your back right there. So you sit on the, you sit on a cooler, then you get your back right there. And of course, you got plenty of room on either side of the boat. And uh, here's the rips in the T-top I was telling you about. You know, it's just a 14-year-old uh, canvas, so you're going to need a new canvas eventually. But, you know, it's still fine. And, uh, you know, the rest of the T-top perfectly fine. Still gives you plenty of uh, shade. You have overhead storage up here above the cockpit with your uh, offshore radio. And just plenty of storage up there. You see that the deck is just in excellent shape. And a little diluted bleach in the water and it just whitens the deck right up. Uh, There's another little tidbit. This uh, a bait cutting station which comes in great, great handy when you're out fishing. Got plenty of pole holders. Again, more of the deck. get your uh, porta potty in here I use it mostly for storage I don't use the porta john ever unless you have females out out there with you you have a little net for uh, store your cargo stuff and you have access to all your wire and all your gauges and all the wiring harnesses for all the gauges and everything so it makes it really convenient because you can get right in there <laughs> 